What's going on, everybody? We're gonna be doing a create and play. Now, the previous video, we actually created Demarcus Lawrence, and I'm like, you know what? I know some of you guys are gonna wanna see what he can do, so I didn't raid sell him right away. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the things that I liked about him. Pretty much the power move, the block shed, and the finesse move, all being in the 90s. I just liked what he had as a card. So I'm like, you know what? Let's create him and play with him. Let's see what we can do with him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, does it work? Does it, you know what I'm saying? Does it apply to the way that we're running 5-2? Is he a factor? All right, so we're gonna jump into some gameplay right now and check that out. Um, in this game right here, this dude, I don't know what his, you know, his plan was, but I don't think with this game we're gonna be able to see anything with Demarcus Lawrence. This guy right here that we're playing, he's pretty much like, you know what? And one thing goes wrong, I'm out of here. And to be honest, those are the best guys to play because then you don't have to deal with all the other excess stuff that goes on within the game. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like. All right, you know you're going to get whipped. Just get the whipping and keep it moving. But like I said, most of us are going to try to find a way to get that win, even when it's at this toughest point, you know, the toughest point. So, you know, it depends on the player, but some games are going to be sweaty. Some games you're going to get guys like, all right, you scored you score a touchdown on that, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much the way it's going to go. This, but the way that that started, you see how that was going on? Usually when dudes start getting fluke like that, yo, I tried to hit stick, him, hit stick him with people with mad wild hit power. He was just bouncing off of it, so I thought it would be more of a flukish type game. So pretty much right, what we're going to do is we're going to put Demarcus Lawrence right there uh, on the left side, 90, um, as that left D tackle, right? We're going to put him on the same side as Julius Peppers and try to see if Julius Peppers can get, you know, some better screaming action towards the quarterback. That's pretty much what you want to try to do. Um, for the most part, the D tackles help to open up the edge rushers in 5-2. So if you have, you know, those D tackles with, like, good block shed, uh, good speed, they're going to help that edge rusher obviously get in. So that's what we're trying to do with Demarcus Lawrence. This guy, I don't know what he was doing. It didn't make any sense what he was doing, and I couldn't figure out his scheme. Like, you can see that he came on a quick slant. He tries to throw a streak on the side. I don't know why he thought that would be open. But like I said, regardless of what these guys do, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty much trying to figure out, like, you know what? You guys want to see what's going on with these cards. Let me give you guys full details. So shout out to all you guys that asked to see, like, yo, what am I doing with these cards? Why am I raid selling so many cards? Why don't I use certain cards? You see what I'm saying? Now I'm going to give you guys some more gameplay. You guys asked for it. I'm going to give it to you. And I appreciate the support. You guys have been watching the videos with the gameplay. Much love. I know we're only going to grow in Madden 20, so I appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, that like the video. So, again, we're looking to try to see... If, if Julius Peppers is going to scream any better. I don't really see anything going on right now. Let me let me know if you guys see anything. Like, look, okay, two guys are stopping him. So you would say that two guys right there that stopped Demarcus Lawrence helped for Josh Allen to scream. That depends on how you look at it. I don't know, bro, because I'm thinking that with those two guys getting blocked, you know what I'm saying, maybe we see Julius Peppers do whatever. This guy's doing this weird stuff. I don't know what he's, oh, oh he just started running. He didn't catch it. Bro, I, I, they wouldn't even let me jump right there, but that's enough of this guy. So this guy's about to rage quit effective immediately. So he's out of here, bro. He's like, you know what? I went for a fake punt. I didn't get it. You know what I'm saying? I got to go and baby fit. I got to go babysit my baby. Uh, What is it? His baby goldfish? I forgot what he wrote me, bro. I think he said he had to go walk his goldfish. I don't remember if that's what he was talking about when he said babysit his new goldfish. I think he said he had a leash for it or something. He had to go walk it. Bro, what's some kind of weird story? I don't know what he was doing, bro. But that's not what that's about. He had to go do what he had to do. If the dude has to walk his goldfish, so be it. So that guy was gone, all right? I just couldn't remember the actual story that he gave me. But that's not that's not what any of this is about. Now we jump into the next game to kind of see if we can get somebody that we can get through the gameplay to kind of, you know, I want to see what he does. And all of us looking at it together, we can try to figure it out. Because Brian Burns, to be honest, with that 95 speed and that glitchy finesse move, in my opinion, he's the better player. So it's not like if this guy doesn't show out for me to tell you guys like, yo, he's raw, then it doesn't make any sense to even keep him. You might as well sell him for the 199 or the 200 and change that he's going for and make your coins. Because if you're not going to see an immediate difference, guys, at this point in the year, don't do it. And like I said, in Madden 20, we're going to have a completely different approach. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to need to. Subscribe here, G Myers World Gaming, G Myers World Podcast. Just be everywhere so you can know exactly what's going on because we're going to have a different approach because they're changing the way that the meta is for the game overall. The archetypes, the uh, you know, the red chems, all that stuff. So we're going to have to do what's in the best interest for our players. You see what I'm saying? So certain players may lack specific attributes with the new method that you don't need to spend the extra mutt coins on. And I just want to make sure that everybody understands that. So part of my experimenting right now throughout the rest of the year, which is what you guys asked for, yo, g Maya, are these cards good? Show us why these cards aren't good. Give us some gameplay. That's what I'm going to do for you guys. And then in doing that, 
we're going to pick up right with it in Madden 20. So right away when we're building our teams, oh, okay, that guy sucks. Jemiah, why does he suck? All right, here goes the video. So now you guys see exactly what I'm saying because remember, a lot of you guys that watch me on YouTube, you're not subscribed to me on Twitch. Like, you're not subs. You don't watch me live. Um, some of you guys are still looking for the information, but it's very, very widely available, um, primarily in the description box. You can see it right there, or you can go to twitch.tv uh, forward slash Jemiah's World. You know what I'm saying? I'm verified there, so you'll know it's the right account. You can watch me live there because that's where we all see what the cards can do. But I understand a lot of you guys are like dedicated to YouTube and uh, you want to see it on the YouTube. Bro, how did he get blasted like that and then kick the ball up with his butt cheeks? See, I don't know how that just happened. Was his butt cheeks that made the ball bounce up like that? Because I don't know how that just happened. I'm, yo, yo, Vernon Davis, dog. Like, yeah, that guy might have to get rates old. I'm not going to lie to you. That guy is really starting to irk me, dog. Like, he's really doing things that are making me very, very upset. Like, I think he's intentionally doing it, but I can't really prove it. So until I can, there's really nothing I can do about it. All right, go ahead. Throw it away. Throw it away. Oh, he tried to throw it there anyway? Bro, that was kind of that, that, that grizzly and gangsterish. Like, he really tried to throw that anyway. Like, is he serious? Why would you try to throw that, though? That doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, why are you doing that? You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, whatever. It doesn't matter. So anyway, we get another chance to see what Demarcus Lawrence can do. Now, I want you guys to focus on what he's doing on the D-line. All right, just focus on what he does because, remember, we're playing him at D-tackle. So we're looking for speed and strength to try to, you know, take up as many players as possible, obviously to get our other guys free. If he can't do that or if he's not doing it better than, you know, Brian Burns, it doesn't make any sense for us to keep him. I don't know how that guy got up after Ronnie Lott just hit him like that, but that's not what this is about because that should have definitely been a fumble. It ain't no way you're taking a hit like that from Ronnie Lott and getting up and just walking away like that. You know what I'm saying? You might be walking away seeing like 16s, like your, your vision is going to be blurred, but you shouldn't be getting up like that. So we're going to put Demarcus Lawrence again, once again, at the left D tackle position. And we're going to see what, you know, let's see what he's made of. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to set it up. Uh, Mark, Demarcus Lawrence on the left side. Let's see what he's doing. So he's coming out in two back. All right, so we need instant pressure because obviously these guys that run this offense, okay, what is Demarcus Lawrence doing? All right, he's pushing, he's pushing. He didn't get a lot of push. He didn't get a lot. This guy threw a pick, so that don't really count, bro. Like, this dude is really, really bad at the game, so I don't know why he just did what he just did. He just ran around and just threw a pick six, but it doesn't really matter. Let's not, let's not worry about that. Demarcus Lawrence, bro, he was getting blocked instantaneously, so it's just like using any other card. The one thing I'll tell you about guys like Julius Peppers, Jason Taylor, Lawrence Taylor, they'll get blocked, but they get right off of it. They don't stay engaged with the same block, so I don't really understand. Like, this guy, we might have to rate sell this guy. Yeah, yeah that, guy, that guy right there, I'm not really seeing. Yo, hey, Cowboy fans. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, you guys told me he was raw. I know in real life he puts in major work, but you got to remember, at this point in Madden, all the linemen are pretty much goal 99s. So you're going up against goal 99s on a regular. You have to be able to get cards that can make plays. And this guy sucks. I'm not going to sit up here and set trip or beat around the bush. He hasn't done anything this entire game. Let's watch the game film again. We got to be like real NFL coaches. All right, okay, everything is set up. Remember, he's on the left side inside of uh, Julius Peppers on the left. All right, so let's see what he's doing now. Let's, what does he do? Okay, look, what is it? Hey, one guy's blocking. Okay, everybody scream, though. So maybe he's doing his part, but he's not drawing any attention to anything, bro. Like, he's not really... I don't See, I don't want to just raid sell him instantaneously. So I'm trying to focus on what the guy's doing, but I don't really see that he's doing anything. Let's try it again, bro. Let me see what he's... Okay, so 75 got him by himself. Okay, Julius Pepper scream. All right, Julius Pepper scream, but... Uh, I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? Like, write it in the comments. What do you guys think about that? Like, this is like live review. This guy's going to get rage sold effective immediately. Based on what I'm seeing right now, it's nothing that Brian Burns wasn't himself doing. So I wouldn't urge you guys to get this card. If you had another card that was decent at this position, he's not... Let, let me see. Okay, 75 is on. All right, he's taking... Okay, he's still getting blocked. Okay, he got off the block, but he's still back all the way back. To, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know about this car, man. Yo, Dallas Cowboy fans, you have to do a lot to convince me to keep this guy. This this guy is running around being a, what? He's not. Is this guy even getting off blocks, bro? I, yo, look, man. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the film, and I'm getting irate just watching it because this guy is not able to get open at all. You know what I'm saying? But what, what am I talking about? Open. He's not able to get off the block. He's getting blocked instantly by whoever 75 is, and then by the time he gets off, it's too late. And I don't understand it. All right, good job. Fumble the ball and lay on it. Fumble the ball, lay on it, let the guy get it from underneath your legs. See, Vernon Davis, bro, I've been saying this for a while, man. Guys, we got to get rid of him. We got to get rid of him, but who are we going after? You know what I'm saying? Like, that dude is garbage, but who is going... That's the biggest issue, because most of the cards play exactly alike. So, it's very, very difficult for me to say, all right, look, we're going to raid sell this guy effective immediately. Who are we putting in for Vernon Davis? You see what I'm saying? 
He sucks, but I, 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 bro, my hands are tied. What am I supposed to do? Okay, what is he? Okay, 75 is still blocking him one-on-one. -on -one. And then he's just, okay, that's it. That's it for that guy. That's it for that guy, man. Out of the, after this game, he's getting rage sold affected immediately. I haven't seen him do anything, bro. I, and, and, and to be honest, he's messing up my whole scheme. Because remember, I had Brian Burns there. Then I had Josh Allen at D-tackle. And I think, who was I using on the right side? Jason Taylor. And it was working. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was absolutely working. I don't know what that guy's doing. Like, he's really out there just doing whatever he wants, man. He's not getting, I, like, he has a very, very high block shed, but he's not getting off the block. And I don't know who 75 is. Maybe he's Jesus. Like, how are you not getting off that block, bro? Like, it has to be somebody that's just so strong, you can't do anything. And he's not really giving me what I, see, look, I need to see players get off of blocks immediately. That's why Lawrence Taylor, no matter what version you have of him, remember when they were running like that, um, the nickel 335, what was it? It was the odd. When they were running that odd, everybody used the looper as Lawrence Taylor for a reason. You couldn't block him. It was nothing. Yo, Michael Thomas is such a dog, bro. That dude's a dog. Like, New Orleans stand up. That boy about to torment this league this year. That boy about to torment the league. He is the only receiver. Now, look. You notice he doesn't have 99 speed. He has a 97 speed. And you see how he was still able to burn him? And then the guy jumped up and he still caught it. I don't know what's up with that card. But EA is more than likely going to nerf him uh, very, very soon. But that's not what any of this is about. Everything is fine. He is probably going to get nerfed. But for now, he balls out. He just absolutely 100% balls out. So I want to make sure everybody's aware of that, that he does ball out and he does get those things done because it's necessary for you guys to know that. Like, in all honesty, you guys should know that. The dude definitely 100% balls out. Um, right now, what are we doing? What are we, okay, we're going to motion this. We're, we get this. We're going for six or what are we doing? Getting tackled? What are we doing? All right, so we're getting tackled instantly. All right. All right, bro, whatever. You can do whatever you want, man. Like, these dudes, he ain't playing no D. I think we sh What are we going to do here? I guess we're going to run inside zone. He's running cover for a drop. Right now, I, I don't know. See, I shouldn't have run inside zone there. I should have actually run the draw. I should have run the draw out of this formation. It would have went right for six. Because once you see, once they go to the cover four drop, uh, they, they're really desperate. They're terrible players. And they know that cover four drop is that defense where, you know, everybody just plays wild and, you know, they stop the run. It stops the pass. It's a very, very stupid defense. But what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure that we can get into this end zone right quick. So it don't really matter. We're going to look and see the way the defense is set up. If he's set up very tight inside, we'll toss it. If he has them spread, we'll do the QB sneak. We'll get the, you know, get the touchdown. All right, right there, he pinched everybody. So, you know, the best case right now, you evaluate it. I would say go left. AA rod, bro. AA rod, take care of that. And we just go, you know, hold your blocks. And that's pretty much it. It's a wrap for this guy. So now after that is done. Oh, did his moms? Did his, okay, he probably got upset after we did the did his moms. Yeah, he probably got upset about, yo, because he going hard on that. He going hard on that right there. Yeah, see, yeah, that, that might have made it. So it's like, you know what? Now this dude doing did, did his moms dance, bro, did, 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 did his moms. Like, once a, what, what is the Marcus Lawrence doing? Oh, yeah, let's get all this stuff off. I told you guys. He's gone. He's gone. Take all that stuff off him. Yep, get it off. Get it off. Everything off. I want everything back. Give me everything back, bro. Yep, yes, sir. Bro, yes, sir. You are out of here. So we're going to raid sell him. Uh, He'll be, you know, we're going to get rid of him. We'll go back to Brian Burns, which is who I suggest you guys go with. Um, He's been a stud for me at D-Tackle. Putting him in at the D-Tackle, bro, he has a 95 speed with like 90-something um finesse moves. He is unreal. He's unreal. So we're going to go ahead and put him back into the lineup. I'm sorry, guys. He lasted about two games. He sucks. I would stay away from him, but if you guys like punishment, I don't see why you wouldn't just keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? If you guys like that kind of punishment, there's nothing I can do about it. You got to do what you got to do. That's pretty much what I'm where I'm at with it, man. Like, it is what it is at this point. So you guys figure it out. I like Brian Burns. I think he's the best case scenario for what I do on defense with the 95 speed, 97 finesse moves. I like that. Whatever you guys prefer, you go with it. But in all honesty, Demarcus Lawrence is straight trash in Madden. Obviously, he's a stud in real life. Until next time, one love.